Well, Dana is uh, one of them, and I think we'll get to her at some point, but um, <clears throat> she said that she can't watch needles go into mm. yeah. people, oh, so that might be worth tuning into. So she's but right up front right. shaking hands. I don't know how exactly it's right gonna play the out. Um, the key. That's a whole yeah. thing. That's a whole thing for people. Um, all right, so we've got a couple showers out there, but actually, uh, looking at the window here, we've got sun in Portland, so it's just, it's been uh, kind of all over the place. Look at that. Doing good That's here. So no, I mean it's it's probably the best weather we'll see until Saturday, based on <laughs> oh, uh, based on what this looks like. I know that's not uh, want to hear it, but uh, it's not everywhere. We do have showers in the mountains uh, and through New Hampshire, but we popped quickly to 50, 55 in Sanford, so turned into a decent day over southern Maine. Again, that's kind of the anomaly when you look at the satellite. There it is, right there, that hole in the cloud cover that'll drift its way in through central Maine and eventually uh, probably the foothills briefly later this afternoon. Afternoon, but there's quite a bit of cloud cover still out there across the state. This front, follow it, stretches all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico and it's going to stall over us for the next couple of days. And because it has such a moisture connection here, we'll be looking at a period of pretty heavy rain for a few days and we'll talk about what that means as far as flood concerns here in a moment. But it doesn't really start up until later tonight. So we start to get more showers around 9, 10, 11 o'clock. After midnight, you'll see more clearly that there's a front here and we're seeing consistent rain with some heavier downpours. That front will set up more or less right through Wiscasset. And so on either side of that front, we'll see periods of rain and heavy rain through the day tomorrow. I do not think it's a pleasant day, particularly along the coastline, but also inland. The mountains will not see as much rain because they're farther away from the center or the axis, if you will, of this um, front. But there will be some rain stretching even there tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Here we are tomorrow night and the rain is only getting heavier, especially over down East Maine. We end as maybe a little bit of snow in the mountains, foothills and interior on Friday morning. And then we start to wrap this thing up, but it takes until Friday afternoon to clear out, especially in down East Maine, where it's still raining off and on until about uh, Friday night and then things start to look better for the weekend. So what does that mean as far as total rainfall? It depends on the exact model you use, but I think there's certainly the potential for three to four inches of rain in Washington and Hancock County. I think the rest of us are looking at about two inches, but we could vary up to three inches. Puts us right on the edge for the possibility of some flooding. The positive factor is the models think there's snowpack along the coast still, and there's not a lot of that left, particularly over southern Maine, so I think that will help us with the total moisture content. Quiet weekend, Sunday, Easter Sunday is the better of the two weekend days, and then Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week, there's an interesting looking signal out there for us, and if you've watched me long enough, you know interesting is kind of a warped perception for me what uh, what that means we got a storm out there that we'll watch for midweek it has a pretty good signal to it until then rain basically but we do clear up for the weekend which i think is nice um and again easter sunday itself looks pretty good upper 40s monday's probably the best day of next week which you don't say too often it's 50 and sunny and then we'll see what happens mid next week the models like that um it's just going to be a matter of exact track because it will be, of course, April. So mm -hmm. you got to get it right to get right to uh, a snow yeah. event out of it. But we've gotten it right over the years in April sometimes. So. Yeah, that's so. for sure. You know that winter we didn't have. So, I mean, it's uh, creeping in. Slowly. Even I was starting to believe that maybe we were going to get away with it. Yeah. Because it was getting to that point. Here we are. Okay. Keith, thank you.